Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following exponential equations using the K-method. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the first example, we have 3 to the power of 2x plus 6 times 3 to the power of x minus 27 equals to 0. Note that the law of exponents states that if I have a base of a to the power of x or raised to the power of y is the same as a to the power of, we're going to multiply x and y, that's xy. So I'm going to split up my exponent in each term because I'm trying to look for a common factor. So I have 3 to the power of x or raised to the power of 2 plus 6 times 3 to the power of x minus 27 equals to 0. If you check each term, you observe that I have 3 to the power of x common to two of the terms. So therefore, using the k method, I'm going to say let my k equals 3 to the power of x. So every occurrence of 3 to the power of x in the equation, I'm going to replace it with k. So therefore, my equation becomes k squared plus 6k minus 27 equals to 0. Now I have a new quadratic equation, which I'm going to factorize. That's k squared plus 6k minus 27. If I factorize, I'm going to have k plus 9 and k minus 3 equals to 0. We can have either of the contents of the bracket equals to 0. So I have k plus 9 equals to 0 or k minus 3 equals to 0. For the first solution, if I take plus 9 to the other side, I'm going to have k equals to minus 9. Remember, our k is 3 to the power of x. So replacing k, I have 3 to the power of x equals to minus 9. However, this is a no solution because I have 3 to the power of x must be greater than 0 for all values of x. So therefore, I can have 3 to the power of x equals to minus 9. For the second part of the solution, I have k minus 3 equals to 0. Taking minus 3 to the other side, I have k equals to positive 3. Replacing my k, I have 3 to the power of x equals to 3. There's an invisible one here. And because the base are the same, I'm going to equate the powers. So therefore, my x equals to 1. Let's look at the second example. In the second example, I have 2 to the power of x plus 1 plus 2 to the power of x minus 1 equals to 5. Applying the laws of exponents. I have a to the power of x plus y is the same as a to the power of x times a to the power of y. Because once the base are the same and you're multiplying, you add the powers. So I'm going to split up my exponent in the question given. I have 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 1 plus 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of minus 1 equals to 5. If you observe... I have 2 to the power of x common, so I'm going to let my k equals 2 to the power of x. So anywhere you find 2 to the power of x, I'm going to replace it with k. So my new equation becomes k times 2 plus k times 2 to the power of minus 1 equals to 5. If I simplify for that, I have 2k plus Laws of exponents again, if you have a negative exponent to make it positive, I'm going to find the inverse, that's a to the power of positive 1. So therefore, my k times 2 to the power of minus 1 becomes k over 2 equals to 5. My LCD, or my lowest common denominator here, is 2. This is over 1, over 1. So I'm going to multiply each of my terms by 2. So multiplying each term by 2 or the LCD, I'm going to have 4k. Oh, let me do this. That's 
times two, whatever you do on your left, times two, you do on your right. My new equation becomes 4k plus k equals to 5 times 2, 10. 5k equals to 10. If I divide both sides by 5, I have 5 here 1. k equals 10 divided by 5, that's 2. Remember, a k is 2 to the power of x. So I'm going to replace my k with 2 to the power of x equals to 2. There's an invisible one here. And because the base are the same, I'm going to equate the powers. So my x is equal to 1. Let's look at two more examples. In the next example, I have 2 to the power of 2x minus 6 times 2 to the power of x minus 1 plus 2 equals to 0. Like I did earlier, I'm going to split up all my terms. I have 2 to the power of x all raised to the power of 2 minus 6 times 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of minus 1 plus 2 equals to 0. If you check each term, I have 2 to the power of x common. So therefore, I'm going to say let my k equals 2 to the power of x. So going back to my equation, new equation becomes a squared minus 6 times k times, that's a negative exponent, if it becomes positive, that's 1 over 2 plus 2 equals to 0. 2 here 1, 2 here 3, so therefore my equation becomes k squared minus 3k plus 2 equals to 0. If I factorize, I'm going to have k minus 2 and k minus 1. Either of the brackets can be equal to 0. So I have k minus 2 equals to 0 or k minus 1 equals to 0. For the first solution, I have k taking minus 2 to the other side. It becomes k equals to positive 2. And remember, the value of a k is 2 to the power of x. So I have 2 to the power of x equals to 2. There's an invisible one here. And because the base are the same, I'm going to equate the powers. So therefore, my x equals to 1. For the other solution, I have k minus 1 equals to 0. Taking minus 1 to the other side, I have k equals to positive 1. Like I did earlier, I'm going to replace my k with 2 to the power of x equals 1, which is the same as 2 to the power of 0. Law of exponents states that any variable or any number raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And because the base are now the same, therefore my x equals to 0. In my last example, I have 9 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x minus 2 equals to 0. Because I want to put all my terms in the base of 3, I'm going to change my 9 to 3 squared. So I have 3 squared all raised to the power of x minus, I still have my 3 to the power of x minus 2 equals to 0. If I rearrange, it's the same as 3 to the power of x alt to the power of 2, the same as 2x minus, breaking my second term, I have 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of minus 2 equals to 0. If you check each term, I have 3 to the power of x common, so therefore I'm going to let my k equals 3 to the power of x. So every occurrence of 3 to the power of x, I replace it with k. That's k squared minus k, making that a positive exponent. I have over 9 or over 3 squared equals to 0. That's k squared minus k over 3 squared is the same as 9 equals to 0. My LCD, or my lowest common denominator, is 9. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 9. Therefore, expand the brackets. I have 9k squared minus k equals to 0. If I factorize, k is common. I have k in bracket 9k minus 1 
equals to zero. Therefore, k equals to zero or my k minus one equals to zero. Note that the value of k is three to the power of x. So I have for my left hand side, three to the power of x equals to zero. However, this is a no solution because the value of 3x cannot be equal to 0. On my right hand side, if I take minus 1 to the other side, I have my k equals to positive 1 divided by both sides by 9. I have 1 over 9. Note that 1 over 9 is the same as 1 over 3 squared. And making it a negative exponent is the same as 3 to the power of minus 2. So I'm just going to substitute that back. I have my k, which is 3 to the power of x, equals 3 to the power of minus 2. And because the base are the same, that's 3. Therefore, my x equals 2 minus 2. Thanks for watching. Bye.